Hey, uh, and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. This is part two of my kind of series where I heal on my warlock. The first part was essentially me explaining my build that I'm going to be using. And this second part is essentially the random queue that I got just by randomly queuing up. And as you can see here, I got Lair the Man Mage, one of the most challenging dungeons that are within the queue list. So I'm kind of a bit nervous and anxious of how well I can perform on this relatively low geared build. So let's jump straight into it. So generally what I like to do when fighting mobs and stuff is you stick your pillar of power and your soul storm down at the exact same spot. Well, at least you try to. And that way you know, one area is green and they don't get confused where the heels are. You make sure they know where the heels are gonna be at. And that's always gonna be within your green circle. And that way, if they die outside the green circle, then it's not really your fault. Of course, you can use your at will a little bit to help heal those that are just need a quick heal or they're lower HP than the rest of them. And maybe the ongoing healing of your soul storm isn't going to do the trick to make sure they're on full HP. Like here, I can just sit my sigil down and then we can put our soul storm down there on top of it and essentially get those heal effects combined on top of each other. That way everything's in the same spot and nobody get confused of where the heals are. So as you can see this part is going actually pretty smoothly. We'll see what happens on this next boss here, whether I can actually heal through the cocoon and whether the DPS can be organized enough and ha basically be able to kill their mimics. Alright, here we have Victoria and let's see how we get on. I probably should not have done that, drawing the aggro at the very beginning. Just, uh, we failed to immunity frame that last one, but we should be fine. Not like she does a whole lot of damage anymore. Unfortunately, she puts those uh, butterflies right on top of my green heal areas. Let's just give some combat advantage for this tank. Hopefully you can kill this. All right, just in time. There's the cocoon. Let me get that fully healed up. Hopefully this can do the trick. There we go. Plenty of time. We'll stick that down over there. And stick this on top of it here. Alright. Should be okay. No. Okay. Just in time. DPS managed to kill their mimics. Okay. We have another... We have another cocoon right there. Let's just use my soul reconstruction. And we have enough time. Let's stick this down. Hopefully people can group up in these heels. Be smart enough, even put my sigil on top of it. Alright, unfortunately the boss is over there, so let's just go and stick another soul storm over there. Beside the boss. Alright, we phased again. Let's quickly move over to the mimic. Let's use my Wraith Shadow on it as soon as I get combat advantage. Can I get closer? Okay, we have combat advantage, let's use that. Okay, was not a whole lot of damage. However, the tank ah, seems to have a sufficient amount of damage. That's, that's always good. My at wills sure don't do a lot at all. Let's give him some of my at will. However, I don't think I can put my mark on it. It should be okay here. Yeah, plenty of time. Ooh, I think that dude died there. That's unfortunate. Stick that soul storm down. Ugh, those bloody butterflies. God, this boss is annoying for a warlock healer. She keeps teleporting away and makes my uh, my one obsolete. Like, oh, come on. Now my... Okay, I'm going to switch back over to this one. Make sure I get some um, divinity or soul weave. I'm used to playing a paladin. As you probably all know by watching my channel. Uh, let's get around this, this silly puddle. Yeah, we can do it. Okay, nice anvil there by the tank. We have another one still. Okay, good, good, good. DPS managed. However, I need to find this... Um Ooh, let's go pick up this guy. He was alone with the uh, hyper or whatever you want to call it. Okay, we're going to have a cocoon soon. Stick another soul storm down there. Let's make sure we look away. We we'll probably have a cocoon at the same time. Um, 
I don't see the cocoon. No, no, nobody's yet. Let's stick this. Put our power right there. Another soul storm. Oh, all of these guys are, are <laughs> stunned. That's why they're doing nothing. Okay, we have a cocoon right there. Okay, we should be we should be perfectly fine with that. Stick another soul storm. No, don't run away. Never mind. Okay, he's uh, tanky enough to do that solo. That's always nice, I suppose. Takes a bit, bit of things off my back. Let's use that um, wraith or that bargain thingy again. Just make sure I get that soul weave nicely up. However, it does get rid of my bot, who isn't going to be doing that little bits of healing. But the healing on that bot ain't much anyway, so you know. Anyway, it looks like we managed to do this. We haven't got too many other golems, which is enough to get by. And there we go. We completed the boss, and nobody ever died to uh, the cocoon. However, we can see here we did get two deaths. Um, one of them being no fault of mine, and the other, I'm not, quite, not quite sure when it was, but it was probably due to the golems when he was alone. Now we're at the second boss. Here we have the arena. Um, this dude is still isn't reconnected. I'm not going to vote to kick him. I would prefer to wait like 10 minutes or so more. But if these guys so want to, then I'll probably just go along with them. Gracious. Well, it looks like they want to kick him. And there he's gone. I guess we're getting a new DPS. Alright, looks like we got a new DPS. And it's actually another Barbie. I don't currently use any buffs. However, if I wanted to use buffs to get extra healing, I could use Water Melon Sorbet to up this puny power. And you could also use, what's it, Spear of Fast Potency and Wildstorm Elixir to up that crit severity. Just get extra heals on crits. However, let's actually see how we do here. Now... One important thing I would like to do is get my daily up. However, I'm not sure if I'll manage it beforehand. I ideally want to get my daily up before the phase happens. Because if I don't get my daily up, it means I won't have this uh, soul barrier. But we should be okay without it. Okay, we just have these boulders. Really nice and easy on the warlock. We just have a long ranged at will attack. And then we can also just use our shift ability to easily get back out of the middle if if we're slowed down at some point. And there we go. And um, we all group up to the stairs. Let's go, guys. All right, let's take down this pillar of power. Fortunately, I got knocked over. A soul storm. It's, I think I'm going to get knocked over a lot here. Let's take out my sigil. Okay, we managed to immunity frame that, however we still got knocked over. That's very odd. Okay, I didn't get knocked over there. This is another soul storm. This is my warlock's bargain as soon as I can. Okay, another pillar of power. Okay, good. And another soul storm. I don't need it. Okay, good. Awesome. That wasn't so bad. However, I'm really worried about the next phase that happens. Let's get him down to 50% and we'll have that next boulder phase. Really not much healing I need to do here. Like these guys, they're not going to die from this boss. And they got a decent amount of self heals. Although these Barbies tend to hurt themselves with them. They're uh, what's it called? Blood letter or something. Yeah. Oh, I hit that golem. Now he's going to hit me. God damn it. Get that boulder. I think I may have missed it. No. Okay, we got three gigawatts. It shouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But let's see how it goes, huh? Managed to get that soul storm down before it knocks me over. Use that warlock's bargain. I need to get another soul storm down. Okay, good. I got it. I got it. And let's use my daily. Oh, why can't I use my daily? I think I need to target something. I, d I did. Okay, I got that daily down. Because nobody's in it. Oh no. Let's share this damage. Get in my daily guys. Let's stick down my pillar of power again. Locked over again. Come on, let's get for the soul storm. Okay, okay, we managed to get the soul storm. That's good. People are dying. Um let's use my griffins since I have one. I may as well. Help with that survivability. Okay, we really need a soul storm now. Okay, managed to do that. Managed to dodge most of that. Put another soul storm down. Soul storm does have a um, initial burst, like um, 
a burst heal at the very start so that can help if you need to step bam one or two consecutively it's not ideal but it can work but the heal over time won't stack anyway that wasn't so bad nobody actually died I'm pretty impressed with myself here I'm pretty chuffed now we have a decent amount of soul weave left just use that warlock's bargain and may as well may as well get some combat advantage as well stand by this tank I really should put this pillar of power on the other side to buff the DPS's damage but I will still have one golem over there oops I hit it <laughs> oh now he wants to kill me oh well um, oops I should have dodged that let's put that soul storm down there for the tank and nice! Somebody got some nice crit there and big hit. And he's dead. And of course we only get a flawless sapphire. And here we are. Let's face down Trobiand. Not much I'm going to switch out here. I'm going to stick with the same three encounter powers and my atwells. And yeah, I'll keep my dailies. Although I don't need Brood of Hador. I'll probably switch it to Soul Pact instead. Which I probably won't use. However, I might use it if there's like loads of the scorpions and they're all over the place and I'm struggling to heal, then I'll use Soul Pact. Otherwise, I'd prefer to use this Soul Barrier, but if people aren't going to be grouped up, then uh, then definitely um, Soul Pact is better with a radius being there of 100, 100 feet. So within that platform, they'll easily be within range no matter where they are. Okay, so here we go. Trobriand. I should not have done that. <laughs> maybe I'll do the job, eh? <laughs> Looks like, uh, maybe not. Unfortunately, I think I may have screwed up the tank's timing on that. That may be my bad. I'm just so used to being the tank, you know. I mean, I better watch out for the red. He's got it in the right spot. However, this is going to be annoying because he's going to get pushed. And now the boss is going to run up to him. And then he's going to telegraph that, um, that big red AOE. And he's only going to wake up two of them, sadly. Oh, well. Let's aggro them. Bring them close. Let's use another one of those. Soul storms. Circle of power. And, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I'm going to use my soul barrier here. Oh, wait, it wasn't enough to save this dude. Who should have dodged out of that. And this dude. <laughs> oh god. They're dying like flies. Ah! No, I'm going to die to that. Oh, not cool. Not cool at all. Help me. Someone pick me up or you'll have no healer. Help me. Here comes the tank. Just in time to save the day. Awesome. Now... Let's get out of that. I want to stick to my mark on my tank. Oh, that's just bad. Okay, he picks me up again. Now let's stick that tall storm down. Okay, they need it. They need to get apart. Okay, go go apart from each other. Okay, let's stick down this uh, pillar of power on this tall storm. All right, all right. This was a pretty rough start, especially by myself, having uh, two deaths already. <laughs> Oof. This is a new player experience for me. I've never done uh, there the Man Mage on my Warlock. Like, never. Okay. I am a a out of Soul Weave. Not so good. Stick down this Pillar of Power. Luckily there shouldn't be more Scorpions for a while. Okay, I have a negative and a negative afford to stay right next to this dude okay it's just so reconstruction this dude a little bit however I should save myself from using any soul reconstruction because of those stacks if you see there so I'll regain more divinity I mean soul weave all right we should be we should be absolutely fine here soul weaves nearly back to full may as well use a soul storm there to get them back to full HP Awesome. I'll give some combat advantage here. Well, let's just burn down these towers. We have a decent amount of DPS. Should be all good here. Hopefully I can live through that initial burst. 
I have a, uh, a very low amount of HP. Let's just use some Caprice here. Just to up that HP a little bit more. Uh, what am I going to do for... Okay, I'm going to get my daily. I'll get my daily. I'll get my daily in time. Awesome, I did. Okay. This will be the last pillar. Let's stick that. Fix that. That. And that. Awesome. This should, this should save us. At least it should save me. Yeah. Awesome. It did. So that essentially there was my uh, soul barrier, that was my pillar of power, and that was also my uh, sigil of the paladin. Just stacking that resistance on top of each other just to make sure I didn't die there because if you've below mana of HP, there's a high chance you can die to that, especially when the charge on the bar fills up to a certain extent. All right, GG, I guess. <laughs> the tank goes flying, he didn't block that shot. Ah, well. We got this, guys. We got this. Nice one. Awesome. See? That was... Here's the proof. It was my first run. I'm the new player. <laughs> uh, let, let's just thank them all. And let's get some loot. And we may as well re-roll it, as I should have a ton of re-rolls here. I do. And awesome. We got a Trobrian's Ring. That is something I can definitely equip on this character. Nice, nice, nice. Let's equip the Trobian ring here. Awesome. Alright, so that's everything for this video. Hopefully this uh, loam run maybe teaches you a thing or two for um, healing on, on your warlock. It's not actually too hard. It's actually, in my experience, easier than it is on the paladin. However, your teammates need to have a little bit more coordination by actually standing in your heels and being in those areas. As when you put them down, you can't like move them. They aren't they aren't huge area of effects like your healing word on the cleric or your divine shelter on the paladin. But other than that, your heals have a decent potency. They can heal for a decent amount. Like my stats are pretty abysmal. Like, okay, you're not gonna have these stats right off the back as a new player. But after grinding out some gear, like in the new zones, ideally you get some friends or some guildies to help you actually farm this gear. And you should be perfectly fine then to um, get that 20,000 item level just by having, like, I have really low rank enchantments. Like, these enchantments are really cheap. This gear, none of it you have to buy. A weapon set, I do have this uh, Celestial Blade. However, you can get the Hellfire engine set by uh, grinding the campaign. You can see I'm at 20,000 item level, which means I'm not getting scaled for Lair of the Man Mage, which is pretty cool, so I'll keep all my original stats. And so yeah, it's possible to heal Lair of the Mad Mage fairly handily on a Warlock with this kind of setup. It's nowhere near endgame. Nowhere near at all. Endgame and you'd have 200,000 power. And that's, yeah, you'd have a lot more outgoing healing. You can see my outgoing healing here is on 7%. It's pretty terrible. I get most of it from Wisdom there being 4%, another 1.8% here, and another 1.2% here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I guess we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.